In this video, we're going to continue our discussion with linear correlation coefficient. So let's take a look at the next example. Your Fair Isaacs Corporation, or FICO credit score, is used to determine your credit worthiness. It is used to help determine whether you qualify for a mortgage or credit, and even used to determine insurance rates. FICO scores have a range of 300 to 850. The higher your FICO score, the better credit history a person has. The given data represents the percent interest rate a bank would offer on a 36-month auto loan for various FICO scores. Which variable is the explanatory variable and which is the response variable? Your credit score directly affects your percent interest rate and not the other way around. So the explanatory variable in this case is the credit score and the response variable is the percent interest rate. Let me write this out now. So again, the explanatory variable, credit score, response variable, percent interest rate. So that means because the credit score is the explanatory variable, that'll be put in for L1. The response variable is percent interest rate. When I put that in the calculator, that will be L2. So let's put these values in now. Okay, so let's put the values in. So hit stat, edit, highlight L1, hit the clear button and hit enter. So now I will put in the credit scores now. Okay, so those are put in, so I'm going to highlight L2, hit the clear button, hit enter. This is our percent interest rate data values, so I'll put those in now. Okay, so those are in, so where do we go from here? Hit stat, highlight calc, go down to number four, which is Lin Reg AX plus B, hit enter. X list is L1, Y list is L2, highlight calculate, and hit enter. So the R is what we're looking at. So rounding to three decimal places, that's going to be negative 0.976. So let's put that on the paper now. So here, R is approximately point, negative 0.976. So part C, does the, a linear relation exist between the two variables? Well, we're going to compare the absolute value with the critical value. Well, here I have six data values, so for six, we're going to use 0.811. So absolute value is this, and that is greater than this decimal. So there seems to be, what, a strong negative linear relation or association between the variables. So let me write that out now. Since the absolute value of negative 0.976 is greater than 0.811, the correlation coefficient suggests that there is a strong negative linear association or relation between credit score and interest rate. So again, it's not 100% sure at this stage. That's why we'll put suggest. And we're using STD, the strength, type, and direction with the strong negative linear association. And again, don't forget to write out the two variables that we're comparing here, which in this case is credit score and interest rate. Okay, let's take a look at the next example. So schools and administrators wondered whether this class size and grade achievement were related. A random sample of classes revealed the following data. So which variable is the explanatory variable, and which variable is the response variable? Well, seeing if class size directly affects average percentage grade and not the other way around, the explanatory variable will be the number of students, and the response variable is going to be the average percentage grade. So let me write that out now. So the explanatory variable, the number of students, and response variable is the average percentage grade. So, because the number of students is the explanatory variable, that will be L1 in the calculator. And because the average percentage grade is a response variable, that'll be the L2 in the calculator. So let's put these values into the calculator now. Okay, so put, putting the number of students in for L1, and for L2, the average percentage grade are now in. So now what do we do? Hit stat. Highlight calc, go down to number four, which is Lin Reg AX plus B, hit enter. 
X list is still L1, Y list is still L2, highlight calculate and enter, and the R in this case, rounded to three decimal places, is negative 0.673. So let's put that on the paper now. So again, R is approximately negative 0.673. So now I need to compare that value, its absolute value, to the critical value. So let me put this over here. Again, we've got six data values. So six, again, is going to be 0.811. Absolute value is this. Clearly, that is not greater than 0.811. So there doesn't seem to be a linear relation between these variables. So let me write this out now. Since the absolute value of negative 0.673 is not greater than 0.811, the correlation coefficient suggests there doesn't seem to be a linear relation between the number of students in a class and the average percentage grade. 